Hi everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to write really really long and complex looking formulas and it's not just for the fun of it, this is really uh, useful especially if you want to perform some calculations behind the scenes you want to keep your uh, worksheet looking really clear and um, you know just show the details that you need to see all the other calculations ha can be done um, in the formulas you don't have to um, have it sh shown the working out uh, behind it so here um, in the previous video we um, used margin index functions to return the bonus rates um, for amount of money earned by um, different people in the sales team uh, so this is all very good but actually we would much more benefit um, knowing the amount of this bonus rather than just the percentage of this bonus so how to cal uh, calculate this amount to calculate this amount we will need to multiply the amount by the bonus rate and we could make it into another column just say bonus amount but equally we already have bonus rate here all we need to do is to multiply this cell by the full amount made so once we multiply that that will give us exact amount of the bonus that this person will get this is in wrong format so I'll just change it to number format and here we go 160 pound which makes perfect sense and for this person we're just going to copy this formula down and down again and take the zeros out yes so now we know how much um, money these people made based on these bonuses and I will change this because this is not bonus rate this is bonus amount and as long as you keep your and descriptions like headings within the worksheet and uh, you use um, cell references you can always click and you see where things come from you can just follow the formula then even if you have long formula it won't be a problem because you'll always be able to track back what you actually have done in this worksheet and obviously this heading help a lot so we just keep them uh, so that they reflect what's in the cells below um, so as you can see Tom is getting, getting really really high um, bonus and you know we decided that actually this is a bit too high there should be a maximum bonus you can get and you can't go higher than this you know you can be as good as you want but there are certain limits so you're not going to get more than 2,000 of bonus that's the story and so um, how are we gonna build this formula so um, the bonus is only calculated until 2,000 <coughs> sorry well, basically, we will need to use if formula because if formula uh, can take into account this as a condition. So, if the bonus is greater than 2000, then all you're getting is 2000. Otherwise, you're getting whatever amount you've made that is below the 2000. So, looking here at the formula, um, we need to embed this if formula somewhere, and this will be the first formula right here. Um, because that's the condition for overall result so we're gonna say if if this condition so we've got this amount here is greater than our maximum bonus and before I go any further I'll just lock it to absolute reference because then we will want to copy it downwards as well so if this is greater then this is all you're getting and I'll lock it again Otherwise, if the money you've made is not as big as the maximum, then you will get exactly what you've made. So you will get exactly this amount. And I'll just copy this and I need to be very careful of that. Okay, so otherwise you're getting exactly this amount. Um, so this is the index, which is the last argument value if true, if false, sorry. And so all we need to do is to close this first bracket that was just for the if formula so that's the last bracket here we go and enter so here we have 160 now we drop the formula downwards and here we have 2000 which is correct um, it's much lower than the amount we had before so it worked perfect and here we'll just have 60 but let's just try if it works let's put another large amount so let's put um, uh, let's just actually add one more zero that will do it yes yeah, so if you made 12,000 well this is all you're getting so that's perfect and let's say um, this bonuses are obviously on top of an 
hourly rate. So our hourly rate in this case is ten pound an hour. So let's just include one more column because people work different hours, so we just want to keep track of that. Hours worked. And we want to say for instance Mike worked 19 hours and Tom worked let's say um, 56 hours and Kate worked 45 hours all right so these are the hours they worked and we can actually add it to our formula so we want to know not just bonus amount we want to know total amount and again we don't need to break it down we just want to see the total amount really we want the, all the calculations to be done in the background so total amount will be all the bonus amount and then add to it add to it what the hours worked multiplied by the hourly rate and the hourly rate because it's here and because we're gonna copy these cells downwards this have to be locked again so f4 and it's locked so we're gonna multiply that and then we're gonna add it uh, as you can see um, we inserted one more column so these references that used to be H3 they are they now moved one more column so they I3 and now we actually have uh, H3 right here um, but that's all good so let's press enter so here what we're expecting is um, 190 pound extra on top of what we had already so yeah that makes just about sense and let's copy down that this downwards is going to be 2560 and that is correct and this is going to be 2450 and that's correct and now we can let's say change this amount to 400 just to see the difference here we go you know the percentage is much lower so uh, we already know so basically knowing the hours that a person's worked and knowing the amount of money they've made you can calculate the total um, money they're gonna get paid including their working hours and including their bonus and this is all hidden is in this quite long formula so when writing this kind of formulas the most important thing to remember is um, that you need to make sure you have all like cell references labeled you don't really want to type some numbers in here because then you might not remember when this number come from here you have everything labeled so you know where things come from and you also can change it let's imagine that actually um, we want to pay people £19 an hour, you know, it's a good company, they pay £19 an hour, let's see what's going to happen, boom, you see the numbers change straight away, so that's why you want to keep um, all these references, all this information in the cells so you can always refer to them, and when you analyze a formula like that again, you can click on every single function, because we have 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, five functions within which we adding multiplying dividing uh, all sorts of stuff so you can always click on this formula and you can see for instance you want to know logical test this is all logical test value if true this is the true value and false value this is a false value so it takes a bit of analyzing but because you build it yourself then you are much more able to trace it back and to be able to actually understand what's going on here and using these formulas you can actually um, keep your worksheet looking really nice and clean because you are um, not you know using too many columns just to show you're working out so that's quite um, quite a good formula and it's actually quite simple it's much simpler than it looks hope you like this video if you want to comment please do it below and that's it thank you